Oh, you're Larry Cohen? Yes, I am. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you for introducing yourself. Okay. Do you have uh, any advice to any future filmmakers? Yeah, get out of the business as soon as possible. You can't possibly make a living doing this stuff. But anyway, don't make me encourage, encourage you. I don't want to ruin your life by leading you down a primrose path. It's easy to do. It's impossible to do. And I don't want any more competition, to tell you the truth. There's enough people trying to make movies without me encouraging other people to get into it. This, they could get my job away from me. Am I right? That's right. I mean, Do you think uh, Full Moon High uh, paved the way for Teen Wolf? Probably. Full Moon High came before Teen Wolf, didn't it? So I guess they, they stole it from us, didn't they? But Full Moon High was a better movie, actually, because we had Alan Arkin in it and Adam Arkin, who still goes on today. He's become a big director today, Adam Arkin. He's now directing all the TV shows on cable and everything. Everything, all the biggies. So anyway, uh, I'm glad I made the movie. I had a lot of fun. What was the process of getting Adam Arkin to... Uh uh, how'd you find him, and what was it about him that made you want to cast him as the lead? I don't know, his voice. He had, he had a voice that was similar to his father's voice. Very comedic voice. Everything he says sounds funny for some reason. So I thought he'd be good in the part. And uh, he was. He, he was the best thing he ever did as an actor. No question about that. Uh, and, uh, and his father was a lot of fun to work with, too. I enjoyed that. So what's going to... We were talking earlier about the Stuff uh, sequel. Are you actually considering that? Well, people come to me and they they say they'd like to make a Stuff sequel, but they still haven't come up with the money to give me. So we'll see what happens. But I'm open to uh, any suggestions or sequels to any of my material if somebody has the financing. And uh, that's it. Have you thought about crowdfunding or anything? Oh, uh, I wouldn't do any of that stuff. I, I don't, I don't want to crowdfund and everything. It's, uh, I'm not that desperate yet, but, but you never know. There's always the future. So, awesome. uh, I stood on the corner in Chicago with a little paper cup as a gag and asked people to put money in for my next movie, and we photographed that as a, as a joke, you know. Didn't get much money either, to tell you the truth. A little embarrassing. <laughs> What's your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie of all time? I don't know. There's so many of them. I, I'd have to go back to uh, Karloff and Frankenstein. You know, way back to the Universal horror films. I like them. Uh, uh, the actors were wonderful. Performances were wonderful. And there wasn't so much blood and guts, you know. I don't. I'm not into slasher movies. 